and welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. I have no clue where this review is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to add it as part of the Cinemark review I did with the Mike's Hot Honey Popcorn. I don't know if, gonna, if I'm going to try and get the new AMC exclusive sodas that they've got. Um, I have no clue. This could just be a one-off. It's just so busy. So many reviews. So I don't ever know. But Sprite Chill has an icy flavor. I guess AMC says, forget Netflix and chill. We got movies and chill. Movies and Sprite Chill to be specific. They also have a uh, Nashville hot flavored popcorn. They used to have ranch one, Hidden Valley Ranch. I missed out on that review. I did get to try this. Hopefully you won't miss out too. But let's go ahead and hop into this. Maybe this is a thumbnail. Maybe it's not. The world never knows until it goes. All right, so Nashville hot popcorn. Popcorn with Nashville hot seasoning. Let's try it out. Now, as you can see, this popcorn looks like it's uh, gourmet style. It's larger kernels. It may not even be popped in house. It's not super hot, but temperature wise. And it doesn't have like a fresh texture. Hmm. As for the seasoning, it's pretty good. It's got some good flavor. At moments, there's some heat. Maybe not the best heat, but it's decent. Definitely sneak in like a pickle. Sneak a pickle in to eat with this. The more I eat it, the more I get used to the texture. The flavor starts to build up really nicely. It is a weird texture. And I would prefer like fresh popcorn. But they do a pretty good job on this. At first, this had me leaning six. Then it started building up, and I was like, okay, seven. I'm going to go seven and a half. I think it's, it's worth that. I think that's a fair valuation. Seven and a half. Take it or leave it. Now, they also, there, there's been advertising for them doing an Olympics-themed slush. Um, red, white, and blue. But... It's not advertising any of the ones I've visited. You can't just go to the machine and it swirls us up. What I'm thinking is you have to make it yourself with blue raspberry, Sprite Chill, and cherry. Which is pretty daggone close to if you had a bomb pop. So interesting combination. Now I did not grab it and I, I'm not going to review it. I don't know who out there is going to review it. But shout out to you champ. Or whoever. If you... If you do it, if someone like that exists, because there might not be anyone that does it, really. There are reviews I've done where I was the only one. I was in a boat all by myself, and it's okay. I'm having fun. Y'all ain't going to join me. I'll have fun myself, right? So we're going to do the Sprite Show Icy, and we may not see many reviews on these. Why? Because we're at the movies, right? No one's going to go to the movie theaters and walk in and get popcorn and walk out. I did it. I did it. But yeah. First time I tried this, I decided to go see a movie. There was a movie worth watching, Twisters. And then they were out of the Nashville Hot Popcorn. They're out of this. So, just gotta walk up to the, the woman or man that's gatekeeping and say, I wanna buy food and that's all I want. Can I do it? And they'll say yes. Anyways, Sprite Chill. As a reminder, I was not a big fan of the soda. So, we'll see. The soda was a six for me. This is definitely a touch better. It is really sweet. What it reminds me of, and I've been saying a lot of things remind me of this this year, is the 
white cherry airhead or even just the regular cherry airhead a candy airhead no it's not the color that's tricking me into thinking that it's just what i'm tasting do i taste the lemon and lime yeah it's definitely sweeter more syrupy artificial lemon lime than your typical sprite has sprite has more carbonation so you take away the carbonation i guess that's what you're left with is a very sweet syrupy lemon lime flavor of cherry of course so yeah and again it's cherry lime sprite so lemon lime plus cherry lime you gotta cancel out the lime right so it's basically cherry sprite maybe a, a, a little bit less impact from the cherry i guess a little heavier on the lime but i don't know all i know is what this is giving me and it's giving me cherry airhead or white cherry airhead white mystery airhead and it's solid i give it a seven it's definitely better than the the soda um but i don't particularly love it right it's not carbonated and i used to complain about uh slush is being carbonated but when it's a soda i'm expecting that right it's not really super carbonated yeah it's almost like that it's flat but it's sugary so seven out of ten works for me will it work for you let me know in the comments other than that i'll see y'all around I sincerely hope someone out there really does appreciate this video after all the money I did pour into making it. I feel like this is just an epic video and I am just so excited to have put it together. So um, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked it, if you haven't commented, I think it's just very important because I'm probably the only one out there very few out there is going to be putting the effort into this review, right? Um, so here we are, right? Not everyone's going to walk into a theater and come out and do a video, right? So I, I ask the hard questions. I say, can I go in and buy just the food? And they say yes. So I, I've done this a few times. Nashville Hot Popcorn and Icy, uh, the uh, Sprite Chill Icy. We got that done. Now they have three custom uh, drinks at AMC exclusively. And who knows the combinations, but... They're kind of trying to play off kids, right? They're trying to play off names like Rizzy Red with uh, Barks uh, Root Beer, sorry. Uh, Velvety Vibes with Sprite. And then they've got, there's a Fanta one. And now I'm blanking out on the Fanta name. Maybe it'll hit me. But again, all the names are kind of goofy and they give off uh, Gen Z. Right, they give off Gen C. Then you've got a new, and I don't know if this is AMC exclusive, but they, they've got a new Haunted Spritz Fanta. So, um, all kinds of different flavors, all kinds of different fun, and I don't think anyone out there is, is going to put the effort into making this crazy wild video. So, let's just end this off on the highest note we can. We're going to start out with... If I can find it, that's the Barks. I think this is it. I have to double check. Oh, both of them are purple. So the purple Sprite and the Fanta are both very purple. Um, that's going to be interesting. Okay, I think this is it. Okay. So we're going to do the Haunted Spritz. It looks like when you watch it pour out, it looks like a mixture of orange, strawberry, and grape Fanta. So that's what I'm thinking it is. Not as special as the Haunted Apple Fanta, but you got a new Fanta flavor and Haunted Spritz in connection to Beetlejuice. Let's try it out. That is terrible. I hope that's not how all four drinks go because... I spent $26 on this. Let's try the other purple one. I 
also terrible, but that's notably Phantom. This one was definitely the Sprite. That one's the Phantom. We're going to just do our best, despite the machine being terribly off today. We're going to do our best to try these. All right. This is definitely like a grape Sprite. All right. Pretty straightforward, simple. On a normal day, you would probably have to say that's uh, it would be a seven, right? It's no, it doesn't touch like a pitch black, but it's pretty soft. The mixture of grape, cherry, I mean, grape, strawberry, and orange Fanta. Let's kind of hope for the best here. It's an interesting mixture, definitely heavy on the grape because it's going for that purple color. Um, Orange and stra strawberry have pretty good notes there. Kind of reminiscent of the blood orange that they did last year, which technically wasn't blood orange. It was a mix of grape. At least in the freestyle machines, it was a mix of grape and orange Fantas. So blood orange is what they called it. So, you know, the twist is, is that this got, has strawberry in it. But honestly, it's, it's not much of a difference to the point you got so much artificial flavoring that it's it's pretty close um i think i did really like it last year i think it right now sitting out and looking at that probably sit at like a seven two it's interesting but it doesn't like stand out a lot so all right moving on not excited i guess i'll do the 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 fanta it's brown and I don't even know what colors came into this. I don't know what what this is, but it's another Fanta drink. Maybe smell test will help me because I really don't want to do taste tests. I want to taste a little bit better. Maybe peachy, I don't know. I'm getting, getting like a peach vibe. Orange and peach. It's not bad. I don't like the combination as much as the other two, though. Despite the conditions we're working with here. I'll give it a six. I think the flavors are certainly... Uh, you know, think about this. I could, I could have lied to you. Told you these are the best tasting drinks in the world. But now I'm just sitting here. I'm like, okay. I got to deal with the bad mix in there but also kind of pick out the flavors and i'm i'm still able to kind of to gauge where we're at here right and be honest with you guys while being straightforward so without further ado rizzy red um barks and it, there's not really any brown color to it at all which is interesting so don't know what to expect with rizzy red barks but it could be anything so let's try it Giving bubblegum vibes, which is probably means it's like either cherry or strawberry or fruit punch. I'm thinking it's like a fruit punch barks, right? Um, there's not a lot of, well, I, I would say there's some root beer flavor, there's no color that indicates this is root beer, but it's like a fruit punch root beer, which is interesting. Um, I don't know if it's as good as the other two we tried first. I'm really hoping Haunted Spritz is available elsewhere. So I can at least try it and it tastes like pretty decent. Fruit Punch and Root Beer. It's interesting. Um, I would kind of lump it beside the Fanta drink we got. The, the second Fanta drink. The orange one. I think it's interesting. It's worth a try, but it's uh, not one of my favorite sodas. So I blew all that money for flavors that aren't really all that. So again, you gotta be thinking, are you going to the movie theaters? And if you are, are you gonna be there a while, right? Because these are flavors you might be taking risk on in terms of like, unless you're sitting there for a while. So, you know, worst case scenario is you walk in, you pour a little bit in your cup, you take a sip and there you go. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek in case 
you're sitting there trying to gauge, am I going to go to a movie? And is this Coca-Cola freestyle selection, is that what's going to make my decision? Which likelihood you're not, but hey, you got me. You got me for something. So maybe put me on the movie screen. Go rent a movie theater for like a couple hours and start watching my reviews. I bet you that would be fun. I bet you that would be the best time of your life. And while you're doing it, go to AMC and get all the sodas and just start drinking them and start laughing at me because you get to enjoy it. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, why do they taste wax in my mouth? So, anyways, that's it. We're going to get this review up soon, I'm sure. So, plenty of content that I've been working on, especially today.